Maybe need some friends. <laughs> maybe need something. Some, maybe some, some therapy. No, no, it's too late fine. for that. Yeah, probably. Yes, we all need that. Welcome back, Casino Guitars. We're yeah, here. We are on fire. Not, not literally. Yeah, no, we were looking at like bad, sort of tragic fire things earlier, but we're, so we're not on fire. Anyway, we're talking about that one thing that's built into every Fender amp you have that you most likely never use. Tone. Good tone. No, no. Not but that. you should. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Which is also tone. Now, I mean, you can pretty much get good tone just by turning the Fender amp on. I, I agree with that. I've never been like, oh, I can't find the tone of my Fender. How do I dial it in? I, I was playing the Mesa I have last night. I was like, Jesus, God, Lord. That, now that's that's tricky. That's it, different. It, it was like trying to fly a helicopter for me. I was like, God, the, what's this switch do? Oh, it's the one on the back's what I need. And then like, oh, Jesus, I didn't Fender, stop. you just put every knob to six. I literally just went back to a Fender. I was like, I'm <laughs> done. This is frustrating me. It sounds good, but screw it. Um, the tremolo. No. Oh. It's 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 true. It's on everything. Yes. It's there. Yes. And no one uses it. No. It's um, it's really 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 fun. But it is really fun. It's super fun. Now, can you use it in everything? Yes. No. <laughs> Absolutely, you can. We'll give you examples of why, like some of our favorite tremolo examples, but you, should you probably know. But you can use it in almost everything. Things like you wouldn't, you know, you might not expect. The obvious ones are like, what, Crimson and Clover. Um, then you have... Every CCR song. <laughs> every CCR song. <laughs> My favorite, the Butthole Surfers, Pepper. You know, you can't, you can't, that's one of the greatest songs from the worst named band ever, which I love the name of that band. And imagine, yeah, Pepper and your, never mind. Well, I should imagine like, you know, like being like, hey, dad, mom, my band just got signed. Which band's name is this? Oh, it's the Butthole Surfers. You're like, oh, God. We got a video coming out on MTV. It's like, oh, God. I have to tell Marge at Bridge that my son's in the Butthole Surfers. Um, R.E.M., what's the frequency? Kenneth is my favorite. They also use it in some other songs. I, but that's, yeah, I feel like R.E.M. does a the cool cool trim and lots of stuff perhaps the coolest um, the smiths very cool um how soon is now if you haven't heard that that that's done through four twins i believe and they're actually doing reamping where they're like doing it as they re-record it in crazy it's it's an amazing and awesome. it amazing, sounds awesome amazing yeah. like wall of guitar sound there True. um but then there's like the radio had the bends and then some of you don't, that are you hear it and so iconic and you don't realize you're hearing it sometimes sympathy for, sympathy for the devil yep um, by the stones of rollingness. All true things. And then this other weird one, Led Zeppelin. No. Heartbreaker. No. They're like, no, no, there's no trem on that. On the bass. <gasps> and anyways, it's funny. I, I never knew, to, knew that until I really listened to it hard and I was like, oh, there's trem going on here. And it sounds really cool. It sounds like he's like playing a, like a super attack. <laughs> yeah. Now in Sympathy, they, they, he uses it in a very different way. It's in a very staccato with that sort of pick attack, the way he's doing it, most of the time it's sort of, you strum that chord. That's right. Wah, 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 and you get that spe classic REM. Great video if you haven't watched What's the Frequency Kenneth as well. They don't show their faces really at all, and it's really neat. I enjoy that. So do you use, your, you use yours at all? All the freaking time. You do not. I do. Really? I, I lo it is one of my favorite effects. I love it. I love, I, I use it all the time on my magnetone, using on Fender amps. In fact, like I think, one of the reasons people don't use it on old Fender amps is because you had to have the pedal plugged in, and that's a pain. Yeah, that is kind of a Do you pain. know what I mean? Like, well, even when you're sitting at home, but the, one, of my, one of my friends who's a fantastic guitar player, um, Jason Jordan in Nashville, session guy, has played for a ton of folks on the road. Look him up. He's got a YouTube <laughs> He said channel. a ton of something else. He said folks. Yeah, no, <laughs> folks, folks. Um, I was like, wow. <laughs> first vintage amp I ever got, I traded, uh, I don't remember what amp I traded him, for an old one, and he had this little thing that you stuck in the back, Ooh. like that wasn't the foot switch. It was on a little leather cord, and it was just to trick the amp to think the foot switch was plugged in, so you could work the knobs on the front. That's really not, funny. Yeah, it was great, and so I was like, "Ooh!" Um, but I, I have always loved tremolo. Yeah, because you gotta get that little cheap little plasticky pedal. Yeah, and like and if you're using a pedal rig, you're not. It never reaches. It's yeah, weird. and even on the reissues, you know, the '65 reissues at least, the '68 reissues, you can use it without the pedal. So you, you should do that. You have to have a pedal for all the 65 ones? I do believe you do. God, it's funny. Yeah, because I was I was using it on the 68 the other day with no pedal. Yep. I, I need yep. to find it. I need to try it with 65 again. I can't remember. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive that most of them, you have to have the pedal plugged in. I hope you're wrong. I could be wrong. I, I have cool. been wrong like twice you could be, in my life. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, yeah. No, that, is, that is true. No, I... I <laughs> 
I'm trying to remember the other time you're wrong. I can't. It's just my wife can't either. I always I tell her, I ch- "Hey, when when was I wrong?" No. <laughs> I mean, if any of you, this is to the fellows out there. If any of you are married, have you ever been? I mean, you've never been wrong in a fight, have you? <laughs> never, 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 ever, ever. You don't want to hear our advice on dating and romance and marriage and everything. It's just. I had a big long talk with some of the younger cats in the shop this morning about romance and your marriage. Just, you know, be cool. And, and to manage expectations. Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? <laughs> you just got to pick. Some of that's in there. Um, yeah. um, no, it's, it, it is something that it's funny because when Derek posed that question to us this morning, he's like, what's the thing in your amp that you don't use? I'm like, oh. I was like, the, the, Sean said the bright switch. I'm like, yeah, because I use it sometimes depending on what kind of guitar you're using. Yeah. I was like the mid. I don't use the mid that much. I don't know. I was like, I was like, and that's not all the Fender amps. Yeah, no, so, it, it is. Know. The Fender amps are pretty much the simplest <laughs> right. things you can get. But there, but there is, you know, the trim is overlooked for the amp, and it's tricky with the amp when you don't have the tap. I think a lot of people use pedals because tap tempo is a thing, right? Right, and I, yeah. I don't use that because I'm an antique. Well, but but I, I find just, if I like you don't the idea have, of... if you don't have crazy like uh, extreme settings, kind of like analog delay, you don't really need the tap tempo. It's just a cool layer. You know what I mean? It, I mean, it's awesome when you can lock it in and it's the da, 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 it is da, awesome. super like sine wave trim. But um, well, we were riffing a bit on like, you know, not long, it was a really quick answer, but why is that the effect in there? It's simple. It's a super simple. simple. There was no Wawa at this point in history. You know, there was, it was just, there was, they were just experimenting with just a little wee switch of a wire or two and one little. Just cool little things they can stick in that circuit. You know, you go all the way back to those early, all the early fenders, the early magnetones that you know that I love that have the, you know, it's not even just trim, it's the vibrato stuff, the pitch shifting vibrato. All that stuff I think was relatively easy to put in the circuit. Um, It it is. It's a a simple electronic schematic and easy to replicate. You got reverb. Imagine if like the thing had been, if amps evolved with like delay in them all or like a different effect It'd be kind of weird right? if they had or if like yeah, amps evolved with an echo plex inside <laughs> you had to get yeah, what a just... none of them would work none of us would use two amps now all old like, amps would be dead these bastards <laughs> no. if you don't if you don't have tape the amp doesn't turn on you're like oh you tape would degrade and it'd be like oh oh, oh yeah which all those that's an amazing sound honestly when you get like the the faux old tape in your echo plex i've never used a real one like that but uh that that version of oh. hendrix was you like the voodoo child or chili or whatever it was, um, like not the main one voodoo you hear. Chili. I call it voodoo chili. So in my head, I used to do that as a voodoo kid. Voodoo from the Hendrix estate. <laughs> voodoo chili. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt that. Wouldn't Knowing the that. Hendrix estate, they they sell it's everything. Purple. It's all purple. Because you because know, um, you know Hendrix's children, they really wait. He didn't have any. Oh, oh wait. So it's just just as like oh. his 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 cousin's kids. I mean, you know, like, oh, I'm changing my name to Hendrix. Quick. <laughs> But um, no, like it's yeah, Hendrix Chili. I used to call it like Voodoo Chili as a kid because like you, saw, I saw it written somewhere, so I still do it for fun. Right, right. And it's like oh, Voodoo Chili. But like the one live version Chile. he did in the, he and not the one we all know from like his radio recorded versions and the other live, but the live one he did in a studio, I think it was in Electric Ladyland. Okay. Or maybe or I can't remember which one it was on, but he recorded that in the studio, and I remember when Richard Lloyd took me up to this porn oh. shop. In times, of course, in Midtown, he's like, "Here's this. I want to take in this porn. It's in basement. We go in. It's like, and it was like an Indian run, like just porn shop. I was like, cool. That's that's normal in New York City. Um, and then we got as walking around. I was, like, I was like, why are we here, Rich? He's like, this is where Hendrix recorded that that version of what you were talking about earlier. I was like, that's awesome. That then, is awesome. Then we went and got some some shawarma at a place around the corner, which was really good. He knew there all the go. best, like little sort of quick. New York, everybody's like, oh, it's so expensive to live there and eat there. It's really not if you know, well, living, yes. But eating is not that expensive. I bet you can spend less money eating in New York than you can in somewhere in South or North Carolina. Five guys. <laughs> less than five, five guys. Five guys. Yeah, 100% <laughs> less than five. No, because there's these great little places that are affordable where normal people have to eat too. Like cookout. Well, that's not New York. <laughs> cookout yeah. New York could probably be twice what it is. Oh, my Lord. But so, so okay, so if you just know the spots in New York, like the little... I know all the dumping joints like in the East Village, like they're probably gone now, but you still Chinatown's got a few that haven't been like okay. tourists taken over. Pizza joints. There you go. You'll get I mean the pizza in Aberdeen is more expensive than pizza in New York City. That that new place. Yeah. It's that's crazy. Food's expensive now. It's weird. But I'm not gonna complain about expensive food. I'm gonna talk about cool tremolos instead. Yeah, for tremolos. I like them. Um, it, it is fun. I remember doing some recordings 
myself and it's really fun when you get to use it. I love it. I, I use it a lot in recordings because I'll just put it underneath, you know, just big chords. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and oh, it's oh, just oh, the oh, bass oh, layer, you know? Almost yeah. like you layer acoustic guitars under things you wouldn't assume. That you and I love there. reverb, just a little bit of reverb, yeah. but you don't need reverb with tremolo all the time. It's a no. dry trem, is, that's the magic of it when you hear that bum 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 bum. One of the funky things that at first made me dig the, um, the Supro amps when they reissued it with them is the trim is after the reverb. Oh, okay. So it's a different, so it, sits it on feels top different. differently. Yeah. So okay. even, even the reverb wash, it's cutting that out too. And then when you switch a lot of those, those first ones where you could switch from class A, B to class A, and it, it changed the character of the reverb. For I mean, Supers so. are that love hate amp with me. Cause like there's, there's a part of them I love. And then there's a part where they, they're just, they're tricky to use. They do. They just do such a very specific, cool thing. Right. But yeah, it's, 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 um, cause we've had multiple, I, incarnations of them like yes. we had and even like the royal reverb when they released that they had they had different versions that come out as their production slots changed and like it is such a dark circuit in there and yeah. it's a dark build like i was like man like anything besides a telecaster i had the i had the treble dimed out the bass <laughs> pulled down to like three or something or two and it's still muddy it's a little it can be muddy it's it's tricky like it's one of those amps is super fun alone right and it can be less Less good sometimes in advanced situation, but the thing that I hate about but it sounded great when I turned not it to get on my Supero soapbox, but like I love the Comet, I love the Roy Reverb, I like the Statesman a lot. I owned all those. The Black Magic's cool too. Black Magic's super cool, and, and I, I feel like now they're getting rid of all the ones that I I enjoy. I think they found like their 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 market share lives yeah. on that sort of the little tiny black box. Yeah. What's it called? The Blues King now or something? Now it's now it's not the Blues King. It's like the Delta King. The Delta King. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah. I mean, those are probably when those cool. are good little amps. Like they sort of they kind of they caught my interest for a bit, but then they would grate on me after a while. Yeah. Like the the, the well again they push do one thing drivey. very much you know. Yeah. Um, but they they definitely right. settled that whole bass overload thing. Yeah. But anyway, so not not to be trash talking supers because we do love supros. It's, it's true. And like I have some old ones that I love and old Premier amps. I think they're the coolest things ever. Um, some of the new ones are really good too. It's just a shame that I mean their business has been in flux too. They, yeah, it's true. I mean, they, yeah. When Dave brought them back, and yada yada, and then D'Angelico, yeah. Arizona Ice Tea. So if you got one slash, of the discontinued models, yeah, hang, hang on to it. Those are, those are cool. If you got any of the old, blue I did ones. just I sold my comment. Oh really? To our, to, well, but he went to an amazing home to our. Delightful friend, Mr. Jack Stowe. Oh, okay, that's okay. sell our awesome stands. And that's things. okay. Ooh, I do like the um, comment. So I'm, I'm happy that he, he has the comment. The comment was one of my favorite fun ones. The comment was fantastic. It's yeah. a weird little amp, and it's super cool. Yes. It's, um, well, anyway, let us know about your experiences and your fun and your love or hate with tremolo, vibrato, any of that stuff, really. If you like using the pedals better or if you like it in the amp. I'm, I'm more of an amp guy, obviously, but... I think it always... I, I mean... It's hard to say it doesn't always sound better in the amp, but the pedals are more functional sometimes with tap tempo and just ease, ease of use maybe. But I mean, um, and the Strymon's like Flint was like a pretty- the Flint is- Perfect trim. Kind of nails it, yeah. And with reverb, if you got an old Tweed or something. The Super Trim, you remember that? Full time, the old Yeah, one. I forgot that was about that, awesome jeez. Too. God, that's- I told you, I love trim. Yeah, I don't just say these things for you YouTube like fodder. I do. I like trim. Johnny likes pedals because I feel like, I like but I feel like your pedal board is like one trim and then probably fourteen overdrive pedals and then three delays. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have an MD two hundred now, so I have every trim imaginable. Oh lord! But, you know, oh, I only use one. <laughs> but you only, you only need one trim. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the one that's built into your Fender amp. Go get a Fender amp. If you haven't played one or yet, your magnetone. Pretty darn You're good right, magnetone but, as well. But if you haven't played like a classic Fender amp with the, that, that's, with that old like that because yeah. we get questions all the time like hey i want to get an amp that sounds like this or like this and i was like just get a fender because i want to get a two rock without spending much money i'm like get a fender if, if you're you in know? doubt that's the answer I mean, yeah yeah when in doubt get a fender right. it's like you know someone breaks in your house and it's, when in doubt you know shoot them with a bow and arrow because that's way cooler and they that's don't true. know where it came from it's like thunk, like ow there's an arrow in me built-in suppressor <laughs> Thunk. It's like watching Rambo. God, I almost started doing that. The Rambo where he, the, not not like the latest one, but the one before the latest one where he goes to like Cambodia or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that one's so good at the end. When he grabs like the, the 50 cal and just like cutting people in half. It's, oh, it's brutal. It's just worth it for the finale fight. The, I mean, um, all the Rambos. Are pretty the, the last Rambo is pretty weak. Well, they go find him and he's like stick fighting. You're like, oh yeah. That, yeah. That's like, pretty Rambo like, sweet. that's amazing. He drops that guy in the hole with the rope around his neck. The yeah. giant guy. Remember, I don't remember which one that is, but that's um that's Rambo three. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, yeah, that's when he yeah. fights the Russian. The helicopter comes up yep. over the 
It's when you, uh, or when they, the helicopters charge and joust. Yeah. <laughs> ah, ah, Super realistic. Ah, they're cutting between each camera. Ah, <laughs> it's really funny. It's I love moments like that. Um, oh, the, the, the show's not really good, but it's on Netflix right now. It's, I think it's called Dark Oats or Oats Studio. O, Oats Studios. Oats Studios. The first episode has Sigourney Weaver in it. It's totally worth watching. There's short little 20 minutes to 10 minute like mini sci-fi sort of okay. shows. The, only the first one's really worth watching as far as deep, hardcore sci-fi. Fair enough. Ode Studios, that's what I'm I'll be say. watching that then. And I'm going back watching all the Mission Impossibles right now. Yes, you are. And Ode to Tom Cruise. I true. just finished, I think, Rogue Nation last night and I was I was talking to my wife. I was like, man, like the, the girl, the female star is so attractive to me in that one. I think she's just amazing. And it was neat because she's not like some like kid. I think she's probably like, oh, yeah. she's probably young 30s when they filmed it. I think she's, but I didn't realize it. it's the mom from the Dune movie. Really? Yeah. It's like, I was like, oh. it's like, why is this woman so like wonderful and attractive? This little kung fu move she does where she jumps on people's faces and beats them up. Bam. I was like, how do you, how does she climb this little five foot five thing? Like, and she's on top of you. Boom. It was she's just. Bene Gesserit. The what? If you, if you know Dune. You said the word. Bene Gesserit. <laughs> I, it's, I mean, because yeah, I think she's beautiful in that movie and she's. Just getting the voice. The wilding ways. <laughs> Weirding ways. Weirding ways. Sorry. Well, it's just nice as, as you mature in life, like you find more mature <laughs> women, like beautiful. Like she's younger than I am, I think. But it's like she's, I, I just think she's, it's just funny that she's playing like the, the mother of this kid too. I guess she had him young. But um, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, back in they the day. control all their muscles and body functions. So they probably look younger than they are. Oh, they do that. You're right. God, you're smart. He's so, he's like, control he's, what kind of kid they're having. I mean, you know. She, she could pick that she had a son. Oh, yeah. Because you weren't supposed she to, She was right? supposed to have a daughter, daughter because they weren't quite ready to have the Kwisatch Haderach yet. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Doing a little nerdy about it. Know, but but she a... loved Duleto, so she was like, hey, I'm going to give him a son. son. He wanted a son. But the, yeah, the, the... That's why the lady comes and tests him with the little gob jammer. I remember. And which I think they did a Fierce great job killer. of that in the they most did a recent great movie. Job. Because that was one of the best parts of the first movie, too. What's funny is if you just watch the movie, you don't know everything. Even if you watch the movie and you hadn't read the book, all these things I'm saying, you're just like, what the, you know. But. I've never read the book, but I know I'm big into movies. So So you're getting the background. And I'm a sci-fi guy. And you just coach me. That's true. That's important involving the tremolo as well, somehow. Trust me. Okay, we're we're leaving now. Bye. Thanks. Click like, Hit the bell. Hit the bell. (laughs) (laughs) For more Dune content. (laughs) We'll see you next time. I want to watch it again.